So today we're going to be unboxing this Samsung 870 EVO solid state drive or SSD for short. Basically, uh, this is a two and a half inch uh, SATA drive, which is a, a replacement for your old two and a half inch drive installed in your laptop or whatever the case may be. This, uh, the reason to replace an SSD, as I explained in my previous videos, is to enhance the performance of your old computer, uh, which is probably eight to 10 years old. The reason I chose Samsung is that they have the best flash cells in the market and they're high performance because of that and their TLC for this drive, not the QO. The EVO drive is a TLC and these, uh, this drive is SLC cached and this is a DRAM buffered. So uh, the reason you wanna go for a DRAM uh, SSD is uh, because they tend to perform very well. But the, uh, the, the SSDs without a DRAM are terribly slow and you want to avoid that so for this ssd in particular like this one comes in uh, this 870 evo uh, comes in like uh, different variants 250 gig 500 gig one terabyte two terabytes and four terabytes so i chose the one terabyte uh, uh, for now and this one supports top speeds like uh, up to 42 gigabytes of continuous write continuous writes and after that it it goes a bit down but uh, the performance is not that bad after all and uh, uh, speaking of the age of this ssd uh, this ssd does not die even with a person doing some hardcore work so uh, basically uh, i'm not biased but uh, i'm saying that it is really good so without further ado let's get into the unboxing so here's the box samsung solid state drive one terabyte evo 870 EVO, SATA 2.5 inch. Now, here's come the part where we talk about speeds. So the read speeds are 560 megabytes per second and write speeds are 530 megabytes per second. Now keep in mind, these are sequential read and write speeds and these are the maximum speeds that this drive can achieve over SATA. And the other uh, random read and write speeds may be different and um, not maybe, uh, are different and are a little lower but this is how it is and this is the limitation of SATA not of uh, solid state drive. As I explained earlier uh, this this drive uh, is SLC cache DRAM buffered and TLC. The memories with DRAM buffer tend to be reliable and uh, faster as compared to other memories without a DRAM. So enough with uh, this theory let's get into the unboxing so i have this cutter over here let's first look into the box not much on the box over here but yeah this is how it is and let's open up the box opening up the box over here keeping that to the side so what do we have here nothing else in the box so putting that to the side and this is the paperwork I'm gonna need the knife again the cutter to open up the uh, paperwork in the paperwork it explains about all the stuff and everything uh, warranty statement installation guide which here it is if you want to read it so yeah and it talks about its software uh, that you can use to like basically clone your other drive into this drive, which is quite good. And here is the drive. So this is metal, uh, two and a half inch. Uh, this is uh, VNAND uh, SSD as uh, 870 EVO, Samsung one terabyte and product of Thailand in this case and Samsung solid state drive or SSD whatever you want to call it and it is quite slim and sleek and metal construction nothing else and this is pretty much it for the unboxing so now we we are gonna put this SSD in my laptop so first of all I'm gonna remove the battery like this and then you need to remove the screw over here it's removed in here already so i'm going to remove the cover 
and here it is the here you can see there is the hard drive and there is the memory I'm not gonna do anything with the memory the RAM so I'm gonna remove this from here simply unplug this remove the hard drive from here so removing this uh, rubbery thingy from this hard drive that I had in my laptop I'm gonna put that to the side and now I'm gonna use my solid state drive and use this just to make it fit in this hard drive bay slash SSD bay or storage bay whatever you wanna call it so there we go and then we're gonna simply plug in my SSD over here and what you want to do is you want to plug in your SSD into your primary uh, drive space not the secondary drive space like in the other uh, builds uh, for example this one does not have an uh, optical drive uh, like optical drive so uh, you cannot use uh, a caddy to install any other uh, storage uh, device or whatever you want to call it so in this case i'm going to only use my primary space uh, primary storage space so in the other cases where you have a primary and the other caddy uh, as a secondary storage space you want to use this ssd as a primary uh, drive uh, you're gonna install it here so you're gonna get the maximum speeds out of it and then uh, you're gonna install the hard drive uh, just in case you want to use it and install it in the caddy and then use it so I'm done over here and I'm gonna install it like this back in a few clicks and then we're good to go make sure to close it properly and then the battery and then we're basically done over here so all the clicks are done and we're done and one thing you want to do is install windows and compare the performance if you like and i'm gonna put a screenshot of the performance of this drive and <clears throat> i'm gonna share the screenshot of the performance of this drive and then you're gonna see how it goes and if you like it you again buy it for yourself as well and yeah that's it for today and i hope you like this video if so then like share and subscribe and click on the notification bell and i guess i'll see you in the next one peace